Hi darlings and welcome to a new spring fashion video. Today I am going to be putting together 10 outfits for this time of year just as we are coming into my favourite season of the entire year, spring. I mention in a lot of my videos that one of my top tips when it comes to being a little bit more confident in your everyday outfits is to spend a little bit of time perhaps at the weekend when you've got a little bit of free time going through your wardrobe and trying outfits on, pulling out perhaps a new top or a pair of jeans that you absolutely love and just trying things on, trying on different outfit combinations, and then when you find an outfit that you love, take a picture of it in the mirror, save it on your phone, and then that way, on those mornings when you're thinking, oh my goodness, I've got nothing to wear, you can just go to that album on your phone, and voila, there is all this inspiration of outfits that you already have in your wardrobe. So for me, today is one of those days, and I thought I would share that process with you, and share with you a few outfits that I'll be wearing over the next few weeks, and throughout the rest of the spring season. Just very quickly, before before I get started, if you are new here then hello and welcome to my channel. I create so many different styling, trend, fashion, haul, lookbook, vlog types of videos. I would love it if you subscribe, just click the little subscribe button down below and turn on the notifications if you don't want to miss anything. And darlings, groundbreaking news, I have just joined TikTok. I know I'm a grandma, I'm very very slow to the process, but while we were away in the Maldives I got into the swing of just creating really lovely videos and now that I'm back home again, I'm going to be sharing my everyday outfits, my outfit of the day, over on TikTok. My TikTok handle is the same as my Instagram, Josie LDN. If you do happen to be on TikTok, then I would love it if you follow me over there. That is something I never thought I'd be saying, but hey, it doesn't hurt, and I have been getting requests for more kind of real everyday outfits, so I thought that is where I will share them. As always, if you love the look of anything in this video, it will all be linked down below. So darlings, without further ado, let's get started with this first outfit. Okay, so something fairly new to my wardrobe is this white midi skirt. And whenever I get something new, before I cut the tag off, I always like to try a few different ways of styling it with things that are already in my wardrobe. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I like to think that I will be able to wear something a hundred times, at least one hundred times, so that I know that I'm getting really good price per wear out of my items. So first of all, this is obviously a really girly, feminine and classic look, something that is very, very true to my personal style maybe not the most practical for loads of different occasions, but for me, if I've got a day of meetings, if I'm going to a special event, I've got a Mother's Day afternoon tea coming up, this is exactly the kind of outfit that I would wear for that. When wearing a midi skirt, I like to focus on a really lovely feminine silhouette, so the fact that this top has a little belt is great for enhancing a feminine silhouette, and then if you watched my video on spring trends, you'll know that statement shoulders and statement sleeves, and also Slightly statement necklines are really big trends for the season, so this top suddenly ticks off quite a few of those spring trends. As for my footwear, I wanted to keep with this really beautiful feminine style, and I've gone for these shoes. They are such good Chanel dupes, I think they make your outfit look instantly so much more expensive. And then to finish, I would probably style with a white coat and one of my favourite Chloe handbags. Okay darlings, for this next look, I have kept on the white skirt, as I said, trying to think of a few different ways of styling this item which is new to my wardrobe. So something which I've had for a few months now is this gorgeous cardigan. At first I wasn't too sure how to style it because I always have that slight conundrum in my head of how to look really lovely and feminine but without looking frumpy and I don't like using the word grannyish because I know a lot of very stylish grannies and I hope that I will be a stylish granny but I just don't want to look too I don't know, um, old-fashioned, let's say, in my outfit. So, personally, I think that styling this cardigan with the white skirt, I absolutely love an all-cream look. It is one of my favourite ways of dressing tonally. Paired again with the same Chanel-esque shoes, I would definitely recommend sizing it down with these. By the way, they do slip off the heel if you do get a pair that's slightly too big. And then this gorgeous little bag, which will just add a very fashionable statement, finishing a touch to the outfit. I'm not going to include this as part of the 10, because I feel like it's just a really, really easy change and everybody, I'm sure, has a floral blouse in their wardrobe. But I just saw this one in my new in rail and I thought it looked really gorgeous with this skirt, so I just quickly wanted to show you this as well. I have mentioned in previous videos, but if you find that you're getting a little bit of ruching or you've tucked a top in and you're getting 
some lines and you want to have a really seamless effect around your tummy and your bum then I would recommend Heist Shapewear. I'll leave my favourites link down below. It just keeps everything tucked in and ensures you have a really lovely smooth finish especially when wearing satin skirts. So yeah this is a little bonus one 2.5. Floral blouses you absolutely do not need to spend a lot of money. This is new from the High Street. I'll leave a link down below but I absolutely adore the ruffles, it's got this beautiful frill around the neckline, frill around the sleeves as well. So, so pretty. Outfit number three, and this is the last time I'll be styling up my white midi skirt, but I just wanted to try it on with something which I have had in my wardrobe for two or three years now and that I absolutely adore. It is one of my cashmere jumpers. So this particular one is from the ASOS White Collection. I always specifically look for the ASOS White Collection when I'm on the website. It can be pretty overwhelming, but I I always love those pieces. So it's a really lovely kind of oatmeal-y beige cashmere jumper. I will leave something similar linked down below. I've paired it with this lovely necklace which is like a snake chain, really really beautiful. And then I've popped on my square toe mules. I have been absolutely loving wearing these. Not when it's really chilly but on sunny days like this I feel like I don't mind my feet getting a tiny bit cold for some style points. Especially now that I just want to have a little bit of ankle showing because I do have a bit of a tan it's a shame to be covered head to toe. <laughs> I want to show it off, but you could also definitely pair this with some lovely ankle boots or even some knee-high boots as well. I think it looks so chic as well with your hair tied back um, with a pair of big black sunglasses. Of course, my YSL ones being my absolute favourites. I feel like that's an instant way to make this outfit look so much more chic. So for sunny spring days when it's still a little bit chilly, I think a cashmere jumper and a white midi skirt is just an absolute go-to look for me. Outfit number four, and I wanted to style up something a little bit more casual, but that still represents my style. So when I think it was my What's New My Wardrobe video, I showed this pair of jeans and the response from you guys was outstanding. There were so many comments about the jeans so of course I thought I would style them up in a couple of different ways in this video as well. It's taken me a long time to really figure out how to style jeans, ways of wearing them that is comfortable, my top tip being to size up. I got these in a UK 10 whereas actually usually I'd be a UK 6 or 8 but I hate having to like you know hoik them up so definitely go up one or two sizes. These are the Topshop mom jeans I think or the editor jeans can't remember but I will leave them link down below. I've gone for a really lovely relaxed jumper this is from phase 8 I really like that it's got the two different colours I love that it is three quarter sleeves so if you are busying about in the house or at work then you have your arms out. <laughs> you have plenty of movement with your arms. And I love the fact that these are straight leg jeans, so styled with a pair of mules as well. It really does frame your footwear so you can go for something a little bit more fun. You could wear high heels, but I think this kind of midi high heel goes absolutely perfectly with this look. This next one feels like a kind of obvious outfit. It is jeans and a nice top. How many times have you said to your friends you're going to meet them wearing jeans and a nice top? Well, this is literally the definition of that outfit. You may remember this blouse if you've been following me for a little while. It's from Zara. I think I got this um, just before I went to Barcelona, which would have been last September. September, I think. Maybe even last March actually. I think I've probably had this top for about a year. Very on trend at the moment with the big voluminous sleeves, this organza, this kind of almost Victorian silhouette and yet because it has got details like a shirt it feels a lot more wearable so I'm sure Zara have got something similar to, li similar to this in their collection at the moment but no doubt many of you also invested in this blouse or something similar last spring. But yeah, this is definitely the kind of outfit that I'll be wearing at the moment when jeans feel like the appropriate thing to wear for the occasion. This next one is a bit of a wild card. I wanted to find another way of styling this lovely cardigan and I have this pair of culottes which I wore at London Fashion Week. If you watched my Fashion Week vlog you'll have seen how I styled them and I loved how I styled them at Fashion Week. But I wanted to find a few different ways of bringing these into my maybe kind of workwear wardrobe for spring and I thought with this cardigan would be absolutely perfect. So the culottes themselves are from the Net Sustain section on Net Porter, they're from Theory and I think they look really beautiful. They could be worn with ankle boots but I love to style them with mules. 
These mules I feel are really good Bottega dupes. I wore them on holiday, I wore them in the Maldives, in fact I wore them quite a lot as you can tell. And I think the metallic gold picks up really nicely with the gold from the cardigan. It's a little bit of a mix between feminine on the top and then a little bit more edgy and tomboyish with the culottes, but may not be everyone's cup of tea but I thought this was a really nice outfit combination that maybe in the mornings I might be in too much of a rush to really experiment and throw things around like this, but that is why I love afternoons like this, trying on lots of different things and you never know, you can often come up with outfits that you wouldn't have thought of before your morning cup of coffee. I think we're on to outfit number six now and it's about time I showed you a dress because let's be honest that is what I spend 90% of my days in in springtime. It is so easy to grab a dress from your wardrobe and instantly your outfit is done. So I showed you this one first in my what's new in my wardrobe for March video. It is from Reese, one of my all-time favourite retailers. So classic. I feel like this is fantastic for work as well. You could probably pair this with some pointed toe court shoes but I have paired it with my brown boots. These just add an instant almost 60s vibe and I would probably pair it with a trench coat as well. Um, if I wanted to make it look a little bit more casual, but then you could wear it with something really smart, a lovely, even my silk coat from Reese. Um, yeah, that would look absolutely gorgeous. So a few ways of styling this up and down. I've kept on the same jewelry as before. I think a really lovely, quite short, gold necklace is a really lovely finishing touch to a plain white dress. So a really simple one for outfit number six. This could not possibly be a fashion mumbler early spring video without a roll neck jumper and a suede mini skirt. This is an outfit that I go back to time after time after time. I feel like I spent the whole of winter recommending you guys to get this particular jumper. It is the cashmere um, roll neck from Lily Silk. I absolutely love it. Um, but I will leave some other similar ones linked down below. I think this one was low stock last time I checked and then the mini skirt is the suede one from Reese which I absolutely adore the color is just perfection once again I'd recommend sizing up with this because the zip isn't that long so again you don't want to be hurting yourself trying to pull it on over your hips and then I've kept the brown boots from the previous outfit on with this as well and I love the vibe there's actually not that much skin on show so again while it's still a little bit chilly outside you can definitely get away with wearing something like this with a gorgeous coat on over the top as well and a change of skirt later and we are on to look number seven I believe I hope I've not lost count so I wanted to bring back the pearls for this look so I have added the pearl necklace that I was wearing at the beginning and then this absolutely gorgeous pearl bag. This is most definitely for show. It is not that practical. It barely even fits my phone inside, but it does look very, very cute indeed. And then the skirt that I've gone for is my pleated, super comfortable, elasticated waistband skirt from Ted Baker. I love a pleated midi skirt. I feel like I should be buried in a pleated midi skirt. It is so true to my personal style. I love the fact that this one has the elasticated waistband, just makes it so comfortable. Great for days when you're going to be eating a lot or if you're going to be up and down, moving around a lot. And then I've gone for my pointed toe shoes, which again I wore a lot over fashion week. I love how they complete the look. And then you could also make this look even smarter with a beautiful cape-like coat. This one matches the skirt to perfection, also from Ted Baker. I think it is so gorgeously flattering with this metallic belt detail cinching you in in the middle there. Outfit number eight, and I'm sure you guys have seen this one quite a lot before, whether that's in vlogs or other styling videos, because I have been wearing this dress on repeat. I hope it's still in stock. If it is, I'll leave a link down below, but if not, I'm sure there will be loads of alternatives. H&M did the most gorgeous dress, very similar to this last year. Hopefully they'll bring that back. But I have been styling a white cotton dress with my Gucci belt, just to add a little bit of a style statement. I love how this dress looks with the belt. And then brown boots, but then of course when it gets warmer, the boots will be swapped out for sandals. This is the kind of dress that I will take on holiday with me. I wear it here in the UK. I feel like it's one of those things that there are so many ways to wear it and so many occasions that you can wear a white dress too. So once again, same jewellery. I've literally been just 
just rotating between a few different necklaces um, for this video. This one I've also had on throughout the video. It's from a brand called Soru. I just absolutely adore their pieces. And I've also been wearing these little pearl earrings. Unfortunately, the sunshine has just gone for the day, so hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. But my last two outfits are both going to be styling these trousers. They are my favourite leggings, comfy trousers, but they can really easily be styled to look a little bit smarter as well. This is a top combination that is so me and it's something that I reach for so regularly. You might remember this jumper, it is my Molly jumper from Reese. I got this um, probably around October time, wore it throughout the winter, it's so soft, so beautifully comfortable. Um, and just the most gorgeous colour. And then if you've been on my channel for a little while, you might remember my feather gilet from Club Monaco, one of my all-time favourite pieces. It was a bit of a splurge, but I feel like with an outfit like this, where essentially you're literally wearing a comfy jumper and leggings, it instantly smartens up the outfit. As for my shoes, because it's a casual outfit, I wanted something flat and easy to slip on, so these are my little mules from Pretty Ballerina. I actually customised these myself, um, I know they're very plain, but they are exactly what I need in my wardrobe, super easy to slip on, I wear them around the house. So this is the kind of thing that maybe if you were having friends over to you for lunch or for brunch, this is the kind of thing that I would wear at home to be really lovely and relaxed and comfortable but still stylish. And then also for maybe slightly more casual days at work as well. And darlings, last but not least, one final way of styling these leggings trousers. It's a really obvious one with a roll neck jumper in one of the most on-trend colours of the season, this sagey pistachio shade. Layered a couple of my necklaces. Surprise, surprise, the same ones I've been wearing all video. They really are so versatile. And that just adds a little bit of interest to what, again, is otherwise a really, really simple outfit leggings and a roll neck jumper. You can't really get much more basic than this, but it is a spring wardrobe absolutely essential outfit, both for work, for relaxing, for going out with friends, you name it, this outfit is absolutely perfect and one that I reach for very, very often. It is no coincidence that I saved this till last because this is what I'm gonna be wearing for the rest of the day, running some errands, going for a nice lunch with Charlie, um, and I've also paired it with some mule shoes which are very, very comfortable, but I might even swap it in swap those out for some trainers for doing my errands, nipping to the post office, going to the supermarket and things like that. So here's one way that I would potentially finish off the outfit, this really wearable brownie, very neutral kind of relaxed silhouette coat. I think it's great for those days when you want to add a little bit of interest to your outfit but keep it really casual at the same time. I like that the sleeves are already pulled upwards with this little press stud, just keeps everything out of the way with a crossbody bag, that is a perfect way of finishing the look. I've popped on my Fendi crossbody bag. This potentially Essentially is not a very me look, colours that I wouldn't usually go for, but it's nice to experiment, nice to play around with a few different shades, and yet because they are still neutrals, I feel that they're really easy to mix and match with things I've already got in my wardrobe. This is a look that I have actually been wearing to meetings and, as I mentioned, to go about my daily business, running errands and things like that. I think it takes a truly special piece in your wardrobe to be something that you can wear both to lounge around at home and run your errands and also wear to fashion week. I did, in fact, wear these leggings to fashion week with a more neutral coloured roll neck I think I wore. But also this cashmere, it's kind of like a cape poncho, instantly makes an outfit look so much more fashionable. Finished off perhaps with my favourite little bag, this YSL, can never remember the name of this bag, but the YSL bag again instantly adds style points to this outfit. I think the necklaces really help to complete the look as well. And darlings, this is the final look of the video, those are my 10 spring outfit ideas. I really hope you found this video interesting and useful. I hope there's been plenty of variety in here. I wanted to show something for everyone. Hopefully, no matter what your style, there's been something here that you absolutely love. Don't forget, I'll leave everything linked in the description box down below. And if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe again if you haven't already. That would truly mean the world to me. Don't forget to check out my outfit videos on TikTok as well. Who knows what kind of fashion content we're going to be seeing on there, but I'm quite looking forward to seeing where it goes. So darlings, if you do want to subscribe, I'll leave my face here, just click on that to subscribe and I'll leave another video that I think you might like just here on the screen. So thank you so much for watching, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye!